ISC Squared is the world's largest professional association of certified cybersecurity professionals. We have over 171,000 members globally, funding 1 million individuals to go through the Certified in Cybersecurity program. Hi, I'm Claire Rosso. I am the CEO of ISC Squared. I have been with the organization for about 20 months. ISC Squared is the world's largest professional association of certified cybersecurity professionals. We have over 171,000 members globally. And of course, we are best known for CISSP, which is the gold standard of all cybersecurity certifications. I came to uh, ISC Squared after a long history of working in professional associations, specifically with the finance and accounting space, which helped me understand in detail risk management. Um, and I also have had a focus during that time on education. And so it's come together nicely with ISC Squared. So, our greatest number of members hold the CISSP certification and the value they gain from that is tremendous brand recognition across the globe in terms of CISSP truly is known as the gold standard of cybersecurity certifications. Um, even in countries where we don't have a huge market share, we always have huge respect for CISSP. And so as a member of ISC Squared, what you get is we have numerous amounts of free continuing education opportunities from webinars and on-demand classes. We also spend a lot of effort making sure your certification is recognized across the globe by employers, by regulatory bodies, even within the university system, many places around the globe, CISSP is recognized as a master's level achievement. One of the new things that we've been focusing on recently is advocacy for our members, and this most acutely impacts the CISSP, is government's awareness of the need of strong cyber defenses and that cybersecurity is really a national defense issue. Um, regulators, government body leaders around the globe have been thinking about how do we regulate cybersecurity professionals? And as an individual member, it's hard to go out there and have a voice. But ISC Squared, we are the voice of 171,000 members globally. So as regulation is percolating in different parts of the globe, we're there providing our expertise and input and giving our members a voice. So ISC Squared for a long time has talked about the workforce gap. Last year in our 2021 report, we reported 2.72 million professionals lacking in cybersecurity, which was over 1.4 million unfilled positions in Asia and over 35,000 here in South Korea. So we've really been focused with our board and our leadership on what are we gonna do to close the gap? And what we know has to happen is we have to attract new and more diverse individuals into cybersecurity. So additional research we've done has said that individuals who have non-technical skills, such as they're good problem solvers, analytical and critical thinkers, good communication skills. They like to work both independently and in a team. That if you can find individuals who have those non-technical characteristics, you can train them on the technical. So we've been trying to tell employers about this. We hear a lot of positive feedback on that approach, but we decided we needed to take it a step further. And we convened our members that represent, again, employers and governments from around the globe. And we said, what is the minimum level of cyber competence that you would need to have demonstrated to you by an individual, a job candidate, to say, I'd hire them and train them on the technical skills? So we created a new entry-level cybersecurity certification to do just that. It covers five domains that cut across the core of what cybersecurity is. 
And an individual who achieves that is demonstrating to an employer that they have the confidence and capability to move into a cybersecurity career. So it's good for employers as a, as a hurdle for somebody to pass before they hire them, but it's also good for individuals who maybe are coming from a business background, maybe they're an English major and want to go into cybersecurity, but it's a little scary. Going through our new Certified in Cybersecurity program can help give them the confidence to move into a cybersecurity career. And something I'm super excited about, and this just shows how deep our commitment to the profession is, is we recently announced that as an organization, we are funding 1 million individuals to go through the Certified in Cybersecurity program. That's our self-paced education and exam. They can go through it for free. And we hope that that will encourage people who might want to explore a cybersecurity career, as well as we think it will be good for people working in business, people working in adjacent fields to your security team, so that they can raise their cyber literacy and help make us all more safe and secure. The other thing I'd like to say, since I'm here in Korea talking about this, is we are translating that education and the exam into Korean, and it will be available in late fall of 2022. Thank you for the opportunity for allowing me to be here and share some of our insights and what we're working on with you. And I would just like to pause for a moment and to all the cybersecurity professionals who are listening, thank you. Thank you for everything you do to create a more safe and secure cyber world. It means a lot. It makes a difference. Thanks a lot.